Well, the Republicans who want President Obama's job faced off for the last time before Tuesday's high stakes primary in Florida. Front runners Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney sharpened their attacks and the audience loved it. Caitlin Ross of Jacksonville's WJXX was at that debate. I think you should apologize for it, and okay. I think you should recognize that having differences of opinions on issues does not justify labeling people with highly charged epithets. I'll tell you what. Thursday's debate between the four Republican presidential candidates ended up as a two-man showdown between the front runners. Uh, just tell me the language. I'm perfectly happy for you to explain what language you'd use. Hitting each other on health care, immigration, and campaign commercials, the audience split its support between Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich, which largely lines up with polling in the state which shows the two running neck and neck before Tuesday's primary. But as they were exchanging body blows, Rick Santorum saw an opening. We've been waiting a long time to have an opportunity to get a little bit more time at these debates and have an opportunity to, uh, uh, to lay out our vision and to lay out a contrast and talk about, give, you know, give people a reason for, for jumping on board and helping us. He says for voters sick of Gingrich and Romney's fighting, he is the better choice. The bottom line is they don't present the real contrast. These, the reason you're seeing them fight over the such petty things is because the big things they can't fight over because they agree with each other by and large. And there will be plenty of time for the candidates to talk about the issues before they meet again. The next debate isn't scheduled until February 22nd. Reporting in Jacksonville for ABC News, I'm Caitlin Ross.